Hi folks, Max from Galaxy Note 3, root.com for this week's AOSP ROM of the week. Do check out C-ROM. I really, really love this ROM. If you're looking to um, run full AOSP ROM and uh, you want to keep some of the multi-window features, um, definitely check out C-ROM. This is the only AOSP ROM that can do this at this moment. Um, so let's say you want to uh, multitask, simply open up the apps you want to uh, multitask put them into floating mode here all right and what you can do I'll put them into floating mode and you can create as many of these floating windows just um, just like I believe a note 10.1 and what you can do is snap to the top there and have this one snap bottom or left or right and you have a full multi window working flawless just like um, uh, touch was wrong now you can't you can't really you know um, resize the sizes, uh, but this is still the best implementation of multi window I have seen with AOSP ROMs, uh, which is very very nice, and uh, it actually works quite well with my tablets, uh, bigger tablet devices, because you can have multi uh, multiple floating windows when you have a lot of room and then just move them around. So very nice stuff. It is also available for other devices like Nexus 10. I'm not sure about Note 10.1 yet. Um, but there's also other AOSP ROMs on the market that's uh, really implementing this multi-window. Um, so very good stuff. So what's up with C-ROM? Uh, this is an Android 4.4.4 ROM, the latest Android 4.4.4 um, you'll get out of this. I've been watching these uh, guys for a while and uh, actually they haven't been around too long, I think a couple of months now. And uh, they're actually improved a ton. Um, especially showing with the new features like the multi-window on AOSP ROM. Like Paranoid Android has it hovering, but it's not movable, or you know you can't resize them, uh, have them into split windows or floating windows. Um, so very nice stuff, love it. They took what Paranoid Android did and took it to another level. Um, so very good stuff. Uh, here's a bunch of stuff you can do. Um, let me go ahead, go over some of these. Uh, for those of you, I know some of you were complaining I wasn't actually explaining uh, what I did. So you can skip all this, but I want to go ahead and explain all this stuff to um, everyone. Um, before actually I go into that, some cool stuff I can do. Um, I really, really love this. There we go. You have, um, what is it, gesture unlock for your security. Um, to set this, simply go to security here. And um, there we go. If you go down to, uh, ah, sorry, it's getting late here. I should not be making videos. Um, there we go. You can change the, uh, here, gesture. Add the gesture there. Put any kind of gesture you want. Um, and I think it works way, way better than pattern because you can just go free, really cool. And also shake events here, but we'll also see it in under uh, C tools menu here. Let me go over all of the, uh, customization options on this ROM. First of all, make this to the right so it makes everything dark. AMOLED screen on the Samsung Galaxy devices. Um, if you have complete black, you will actually save battery life. So definitely a way to go. Um, C tool here. Let's go over interface. Everything we can do, uh, or at least um, the cool stuff we'll go over. Power menu. Um, you'll be able to add screenshots, screen recording, um, screenshots. Uh, also screen recording works flawless. Now it is actually recording my screen, uh, which is nice, and I can go ahead and shut it off. And if you want to watch it, go ahead and click on it, and it will play uh, the screen recording I just did. Cool stuff, right? So just built into there. Uh, let's go back to settings here, and you can go ahead and add all of these different shortcuts. Very nice stuff. Um, driving mode. If you have this on, you can have your phone speaking for you, um, reading out your messages, incoming calls, all that good stuff. Gesture anywhere. Uh, this is very, very nice. Let me actually increase it a little bit here. Um, you can go ahead and add gestures. So I've got C for camera, Gmail, Torch. Um, so anywhere in your phone, you can go ahead and click the left edge and you'll see the X button grayed out. Uh, if I do C, it's gonna open up my camera. And if I do G, it's gonna open up my Gmail. Uh, if I do T like that, it's going to open up my torch so I can quickly access it. So very nice stuff. Um, something that's missing from Samsung TouchWiz. So 
I actually have my Verizon Note 3 now and my Sprint Note 3. I kind of go back and forth with it uh, because I do really love AOSP, uh, but it is, it is too bad that I cannot install it. That's, and uh, ah, I cannot install it. Um, so that's why um, I'm kind of going back and forth. Here we go. Let's go back to C2 here. Uh, interface, did we cover everything? Animation options. All right. Um, you can change the progress bar, scrolling, modifiers. System animation, this is where you can change all of your system animations. Um, let's just change a couple of these real quick. Uh, just to show you real quick. And you'll see the animation change right away. So very nice stuff there for uh, the animations. Um, let me go back to interface here. Sorry, I'm jumping kind of. Shake events, love this stuff. Um, right now I have it set uh, where I shake my phone sideways. Oops, it's gonna activate. Actually, I started using this a lot now. I find it actually better, um, a great way, because before I have to like fiddle and find my button, all I have to do now is just, you know, shake my phone. I think it actually works in the lock screen also. Nope, it doesn't. Um, there's additional settings in the lock screen, I think. So we'll go look at that real quick. LC density, you can go ahead and uh, change the density here. Oops, change density values. Um, you can go ahead and change the values, reboot, and you'll get uh, newer, like, uh, you'll, you can change it into tablet or phone mode, all that good stuff. Status bar, battery icon, let's go ahead and change the battery icon. Uh, we don't like the regular battery icon. Um, circle with percentage looks pretty nice. Let's change the color up a bit to green there. Um, some more stuff you can do. Or you can go without a battery. Save some space. Uh, what you can do is put a battery bar on the status bar. You'll see the battery bar which shows how much battery you have. Set that to green. Looking nice. Nice and green and high on Android. Double tap to sleep. Brightness control. Simple stuff there. Um, you can also control the brightness easily like that. Uh, also, if you want traffic monitor, this will show you the incoming and outgoing data on your phone. Um, with Sprint, I don't really worry about it because it's unlimited. But with my AT&T or Verizon, or my actually my AT&T, I don't have grandfather plans, so I really have to watch out. Uh, and you know, it can help you f detect those rogue apps that's using data when you didn't tell it to. Um, tiles and layout here, you can go ahead and add all your favorite stuff. I've added on the go, shake events. Um, all the stuff, different stuff you can add, so make your life easier. Uh, let me go ahead and show you the on-the-go mode. Um, let me go ahead and turn that on. Ah. Actually, let me let me let me let me enable the smart switch real quick. Sm quick pull down. You see how I was going like this and trying to find my notifications? It was just my notification coming down. Um, you have to do two fingers. Screw that, just so set that to the right. If you go to the right, you'll get your quick settings. Left, you get your notifications. Um, also, uh, let's go back here. And let's go ahead and enable that now. Uh, on the go mode. Where's my on the go mode? Oh, my on the go mode is actually this one. There we go, that's where we go. So when you're walking and stuff, you can still go online, um, use the internet, go to my site, hi on Android. Uh, dot com and you won't run into the person in front of you so very nice stuff there uh, let's go ahead and look at the rest of the options here um, there's just a ton of them as you can see um, smart pull down will also uh, if you set this to no dismissible now if you don't have no no notifications you can go both ways and have your quick settings how smart is that good idea a block screen here um, some of my favorite stuff I don't actually miss uh, lock screen rotation. Yes, enable that. Eight slider targets. Um, you can have up to eight different targets. Let's go ahead and set one real quick together to my camera, and you can set up to seven more. And now you can go. Oh, now you can go straight. If you didn't have, um, if you if you didn't have a security, you can go straight into it. A uh, slider torch. This is another torch function um, you can do. And you can, well, it's not going to work. These are not going to work when you have security, obviously. Um, I think there is actually a way to enable it also. But There we go. Notifications on lock screen. I really like this. Enable this, and you'll get your notifications on lock screen. I don't actually mess with the pocket mode too much because I think it drains battery life. 
Uh, but you can mess with that. Active display, similar stuff, you can mess with that too. I don't use it much. Um, let's go to navigation. If you want to enable soft buttons, you can get a bunch of different buttons. Add more buttons, up to five different buttons. Uh, add all of your favorite applications or you know, you just need a lot of shortcuts. Um, you know, actually it can make sense if you're kind of uh, if you're kind of older, you have arthritis and you don't like just clicking through apps, you can have the soft buttons help you out there, you know. Um, also you can add ring targets if you want to. Ring targets only work if you have soft buttons enabled. Uh, default is set to Google now, but you can go ahead and add all of your favorite applications again. That gives you a ton of stuff you can do. Um, you know, so very nice stuff. And now I can go to my power menu, I can go to Facebook easily. Um, now if I turn this navigation bar off, um, the, the ring targets don't work. So just know that when you're using it. All right, custom button actions. You can go ahead and set all of your buttons to have three times more efficiency. So right now, my back uh, normal press is back button. You can do long press, have it um, take a screenshot, double tap, perhaps you want the torch on. So let's test it. Uh, go ahead and long press, that will take a screenshot, double tap, you got the torch on, double tap, ah, double tap, uh, you have to do it kind of quick. Um, we'll turn it off. And very nice stuff. So with navigation, you can do a ton of things, uh, otherwise you couldn't. With Pi controls, you can get additional stuff, go to trigger options, uh, trigger options and make sure you have the right side enabled. You have to kind of slide in real quick and you'll be able to get it. Um, if you're left handed, use the left or you can do both left and right or you can do the top also. I don't think it works as well so I don't because the status bar gets in the way. So set it to right or left and I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off for now. Um, sidebars tap I really love app, app circle bar. You can go ahead and add all of your favorite apps. This will go on your right edge. Go ahead and tap the right edge. Now it's not gonna work well with a case like this because it's hard to tap the edge there. Um, but if you're not using a case, it should be much, much easier. Oh, actually it's not working too bad. All right, there we go. And if you go back to settings, there we go. Um, there's app bar, you can mess with this also. Uh, this is gonna be great. You can have I'm gonna adjust the, um, the width a little bit. You can also go ahead and add all of your favorite apps here. Um, just like a PC, uh, basically, you can tap the left side and launch your Gmail, all that good stuff. So very nice, very nice. Love it, love these um, shortcuts. Just decide which combo you're gonna use because you possibly can't use all of them, then you'll have, you know, everywhere you touch, you're gonna get shortcuts. Omni switch, another similar thing you can mess with, uh, similar to Pi controls. Uh, battery saver mode, you can go ahead and turn this off. I think, did I cover this earlier? I think I did. Oops. Ah. All right, I think I've covered everything here. Um, so definitely check it out for this week's round of the week. A lot of fun with your phone that you can do. Um, so definitely check it out for this week's round of the week. C-ROM, it is one of my favorite ROMs. I'm actually running this on a bunch of my devices, especially my tablet devices, my uh, with my like my Nexus 7 2013 edition, or actually both editions are running C-ROM. Love it, it's a great edition. Now if you need S Pen features, obviously you're gonna lose it with uh, this ROM here. And uh, there's a bunch of apps you can get um, to make up for it. Uh, one of those apps, I believe, is K-Memo here. You can go ahead and get this and get your pen working. Your pen, basic pen functionality will always work. Um, it's just that, you know, all that air command and stuff is not gonna work or air view, all that. Um, it's really a choice, you know, or what you can do is make a backup ROM of TouchWiz ROM and, you know, switch, you know, I switch like once a day. I Half the day I'm using AOSP ROMs, half the day I'm using TouchWiz. Um, so it's best to have both worlds and also, you know, it will make you a better Flashaholic uh, better, you know, uh, user of Android if you use both. So definitely switch back and forth, make a backup ROM, restore ROM, install ROM, all that good stuff. So I think I covered enough here. Definitely check it out for this week's ROM. You can install it on any Qualcomm based Galaxy Note 3. And do let me know what you think. Um, I think you'll like it. AOSP ROM of the week. Love it. 
Uh, and do let me know what you think. And as always, if you have Galaxy Note 3, don't forget to subscribe to my email list at galaxynote3root.com. And thanks guys for watching my video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and the subscribe button below here uh, to get more cool ROM reviews, tips, tricks, and more. And also check out video of the week over here if you haven't yet. And as always, uh, stay on Android.